Okay, guys, I, I figured it out. Um, you, you are to throw a grenade on that thing that is down there now. And so you should, so you can be able to actually do this, I presume. Now I may have to actually... Hopefully, it's so you can jump. It took a while for me to understand, but... Chris, go to your room. Okay, Dad. Well done. Of course, it happened when I said... Um, I feel that that's something that I missed, but no. There we go. What took you so long? I had to finish a game of chess with one of my commie friends. Now come on, let's move. Hagen's probably halfway yeah, to Guatemala not... already. We might as well just give up now and start planning for the apocalypse. Look at me. We will get out of here. We'll follow Hagen to Guatemala, and I'll force feed him every last piece of gold I've found in these godforsaken temples. You paid me to get you that artifact, remember? Job's not done yet. My, how you've changed, Mr. Quatermain. All for the money. Everything has an end. If only you live long enough to see it. Professor Jacobs had gathered more information about the heart. Three fragments. One in Egypt, one in the Arctic, and one at our destination, the jungles of Guatemala. Yet not even the professor could tell us what might happen if the fragments are reunited. But what's the good of talking? Those who live to see will see. Did the professor tell you about the source of the new information on the heart? You mean how his father was an acquaintance of my great-granddad, Alan? Hell, when he was a kid, the prof even met the old man in Yes, yes, I know. Get to the point. Easy, soldier. The prof owns a couple of the old man's unpublished diaries. Where great-granddad speculates about the connection between the legend of the seven cities of gold and the temples we've been to. Great-granddad Alan thought there are seven temples and he managed to find six of them before he died. But he didn't find the heart of Atlantis? Or maybe it was smart enough not to unite it. That damn German snake! We have to get the heart back! And then our only worry will be what to do on Saturday nights! <laughs> oh. Well, I know this little place near a lovely oasis. What the hell?! Turbulence, maybe?! James? Jen! Remember those spirals on the map? Yes? I don't think they were for decoration. There's a giant vortex building up beneath us. Oh shit. It's pulling us in! Help me! I can't hold it! Jennifer, we have to jump while we still can! I need to warn the professor! The radio's bright! Come on! We have to go now! Quatermain, are you all right? Well, if you want to give me the kiss of life. In your dreams. 
I sure uh, hope so. Let's check what's left of the plane. And with Maybe that, we can salvage some of the equipment. And with that, I'm gonna say thank you for me, and I'm gonna leave you to it. Farewell.